President of the Institute for Advanced Studies and Cooperation. Please welcome him to the stage. Thank you, thank you everybody. Uh, I'd like to thank His Highness of Mizimi and His Excellency Adam al for our trust to have me here. The more we learn about neuroscience, about systemic and quantum biology, the more we understand how the system works, how we interact with the old system. But fragility can just be too great of a problem. As this information society is based more and more on technology, on the artificial intelligence, on digital and virtual reality, and the so-called metaverse gains popularity and invades the physical world, it will never be able to grow exponentially. It is not just a psychological problem. It has become physical. We are getting dependent from our technology. At the Institute for Advanced Studies and Cooperation, our intent is to understand what dangers and opportunities this may give us. Let's be honest, it is not easy in a competitive classified world to talk about open source, trust, interdisciplinary collaboration. I am Gabriele Barba Andreoli, President of the Institute for Advanced Studies and Cooperation. And from my humble position, let me reassure you all, no one has a full picture of what is going on out there. No one can profess to have his hands on cybersecurity. And the few who really dive into the system may not be your friends for a very good reason. So if we want to have a chance to make it better, we have to be together. We should have the courage to create a digital United Nation. And when I say we, I mean everyone. No one is exempt from manipulation. No one is safe from cyber attacks. No one is secure from the, the misuse of personal data. No one is immune to the abuse from the digital supremacy of dominating bodies. And it does not matter where it comes from. Government, agency, or private institution, or single entities. You know why? Because it is very difficult to determine who's working for whom, who is doing what and why where your data is going to end up in a month or a year from now. Believe me, I know from the inside. And if you know what a red team is, then you know. I know I already have made some powerful enemies today, but I come from a civilization which motto was many enemies, much honor. As we know, enemies define you. Thanks to them, we become anti-fragile. They are like problems and opportunity. So, there is cybersecurity and counter cybersecurity, and on and on. And who's controlling the controller? No one. With no ethics, no vision, no sense of community or responsibility, we are lost. We need our distinction, our culture, our different point of views. We need to consider and respect each other to collaborate with a vision. And that's why I believe we're here today. With the Institute for Advanced Studies and Cooperation, we are often in the middle, a very uncomfortable position at times, but essential in order to really understand and serve the creative purpose, to engage in breakthrough events and discovery. I hope I made my point clear, and I invite you all to join forces with us. We believe in sharing and creating opportunities. And like the Emperor Marcus Aurelius said, <clears throat> let's the obstacle become the way. Thank you. Studies and cooperation. Please welcome him to the stage. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I am Gabriele Barba Andreoli, President of the Institute for Advanced Studies and Cooperation. And from my humble position, let me reassure you all no one has a full picture of what is going on out there. No one can profess to have his hands on cybersecurity. And the few who really dive into the system may not be your friends for a very good reason. So if we want to have a chance to make it better, we have to be together. We should have the courage to create a digital United Nation. And when I say we, I mean everyone. No one is exempt from manipulation. No one is safe from cyber attacks. No one is secure from the, the misuse of personal data. No one is immune to the abuse 
from the digital supremacy of dominating bodies. And it does not matter where it comes from, government, agency, or private institution, or single entities. You know why? Because it is very difficult to determine who's working for whom, who is doing what and why, where your data is going to end up in a month or a year from now. Believe me, I know from the inside. And if you know what a red team is, then you know. We need our distinction, our culture, our different point of views. We need to consider and respect each other to collaborate with a vision. And that's why I believe we're here today. With the Institute for Advanced Studies and Cooperation, we are often in the middle, a very uncomfortable position at times, but essential in order to really understand and serve the creative purpose, to engage in breakthrough events and discovery. I hope I made my point clear, and I invite you all to join forces with us. We believe in sharing and creating opportunities. And like the Emperor Marcus Aurelius said, <clears throat> let's the obstacle become the way. Thank you.